I'm here with these two lovely girls, or women, I must say, in the water cube. They are from the South African Women in Engineering Organization. Um, this is Nadia. Hello. And this is Tracy. Is it? Hello. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Nadia, can you start? Okay, I'm Nadia Visage and I'm co-founder of South African Women in Engineering, or SA Women for short. Um, SA Women is an NGO that is based in South Africa currently, but we have aspirations to go global. And we, what we do is we focus on the personal, professional and technical development of women who are in and aspiring to be in engineering. So what that means is that we try and get high school students to study engineering, we do capacity development for women who are at tertiary institutions, and then we focus on developing women who are in industry. Tracy. Hi, I'm Tracy Reddy. I'm currently doing my PhD in industrial wastewater treatment. I'm also a member of the SA Women's Organization. I'm in charge of the conference division which aims at uh, empowering women at the university levels across the country. One of the main things about the conference is our wonderful technical project, which tries to portray the technical, technical brilliance of those females that are actually studying. One of our very uh, popular topics, which is in accordance with World Water Day, is the um, water resource management in informal settlements and capacity building, as well as resources uh, structure, as well as um, Really just focusing on making sure that we have socially conscious engineers who understand the challenges today's society of water and sanitation within the informal settlement. And make a positive contribution to that. Why is this organization um, necessary or existing? There's a global shortage of women in engineering. Um, it's a very, very male-dominated industry. But women actually bring a very, very different social aspect to engineering. So they think about community and they think about finding long-term solutions to the most challenging problems. And women make up over 50% of the world's population and you really can't afford to ignore them as a powerful resource to become future engineers. Mm -hmm. Tracy, so have you something to add to that? You find that women nowadays, they're they're not supported, they don't have the support or the platform and what we try to do is actually to, to create that network from high school level to university right through to graduate level. We also have mentorship at our workshop which makes so that we get women engineers out in industry to come through and talk about their successes as well as their failures because it's not only the success stories that we want to hear about, it's like how you persevere through your engineering degree, through this male dominated society and come out a success. Okay, thank you very much uh, Nadia and Tracy for this interview and uh, I wish you all, all of the luck in your work. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. <laughs>